Hey everyone, this is a really quick video showing you a cool feature that you can remote play from your Xbox onto your PC. There's so many cool benefits, so I want to just make this video for you, but let's just jump right into it. So to start, to get this on your PC, you need to get the Xbox app for desktop. Now this is really easy to get, you can just search Xbox desktop app and you'll be able to go to xbox.com and download it right here. Once you download it, it'll look like this. So it'll take you to like the Xbox store pretty much. And you need to sign in at the top left here to get the right account so you can attach to your Xbox. To actually remote play from your Xbox, go over to this one right here, go to consoles, and it should be listed right in this list here. So you go to Xbox here, and it'll start the remote play on your Xbox. You have to turn your Xbox on in order for this to even work. When you try to press that button when the Xbox is off, it won't turn on at all. So you need to go turn on the Xbox and then you'll be able to do this. And there's so many benefits to using this. At first, the Xbox won't be recognizable in that Xbox app on the desktop. So where you have to go is in the settings here. And when you're in the settings here, you go down to devices and connections and then go down to remote features. This wasn't enabled for me by default when I first got in here. So I had to turn it on once you turn it on, it'll go through testing your setup, making sure you're able to, and you'll have to be doing this part on the Xbox itself. And then it'll show you where in your connection would need some work. So in my case, I'm on a wireless connection right now. So if I was wired, it would be really, really quick. But because I'm on wireless, there's gonna be some latency between this. So if you're playing some really competitive game, this isn't the best option if you have any kind of latency between it. I've definitely noticed it in my setup personally, where there definitely is some lag, but in some easier games to play like Stardew Valley, it definitely doesn't affect it that much. So the performance thing is probably the main drawback here, but just the fact that you're able to bring this over to your computer is really, really cool. One really good thing about this is that it hardly uses any processing power in terms of memory and CPU on your PC as well. Most of that stuff's going onto the Xbox and you're just porting it over to the computer. I should note, when you are using this, you do have to have a controller connected to your computer. So you could do this just by simply plugging in a controller to your computer or by going through the Bluetooth settings on your computer, holding the sync button on your controller and setting up a Bluetooth controller that way. Both options are super easy, but you definitely need a controller to play as just clicking around with the mouse doesn't do anything. Other reasons why this is so great is because it's a free, Thing. like you don't need to pay for the Xbox Game Pass or anything to be able to do this. The audio transfers over really easily too, there's no issues there. But because I am on a wireless connection, it does get a little bit blurry or choppy for every once in a while. But for a lot of these like more casual or turn-based games, it doesn't really matter for that much at all. All right, that's it for me. I pretty much just wanted to show that this feature existed just because it's something I never realized for the longest time. And I definitely would have been using it way more often if I did. There's a lot of other features inside here too. So I highly suggest you go check this out and explore it. All right, that's it for me. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel to see more great gaming guides just like this. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.